Harrison with Midwest Meanderings. Thanks for dropping by my channel. So we are here today in my kitchen to talk about my arch nemesis, the fruit fly. And I am going to tell you my foolproof fruit fly trap. Oh my gosh, I said that straight through without messing it up. Yes, foolproof, foolproof. As long as you do it exactly the way I do it and you do it exactly the way I tell you to do it at the end, um, you will get rid of your fruit flies for free. So all you need are the items that we're showing you in the video just now, but I'm gonna pull them out now. Um, you need, these are Hefty brand uh, red cups. And the reason you want, and it doesn't have to be that brand, you just want one that doesn't have ridges. Like, you know how you have the ones that have ridges around here? You don't want those because the fruit flies can get out. And you want three because one banana works perfectly for three cups. And honestly, I think it's nice to put them in different places. And when you have an infestation, you have an infestation. I had a really horrible infestation, and we're gonna show you a picture of that trap full of the fruit flies. The ones that I have here are not so full, um, but they are, they still have lots of fruit flies in there. So, and it, all it takes is to have a bunch of bananas that happen to have some fruit flies on it. So, what we're gonna do is take our three cups, we're gonna take a third of a banana, and put it in each cup. Gotta keep it even, you know? And what you want is a super duper ripe banana. So if you have more spots than that on your banana, that'd be great. So, and then what you're going to do, and Rachel, I'm gonna get you to do a close up on this. That's my trusty daughter and Olivia. Can you do a close up? Because I wanna show you this. We're gonna smash it. And the reason we're smashing it is to get the fermentation process going and to get that smell released, because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that fermented, overripe banana smell. And they're looking for the red cups. So I've been doing this for, I don't know how many years, probably 15. And honestly, this works. So we're smashing them all in. And you can already smell it smells like you should be making banana bread. That's how these bananas smell. So those are the perfect bananas. And you can put some bananas in the freezer when you have a banana that's really ripe. Pop it in the freezer in three chunks, and that way you're always ready and you don't have to wait till your bananas are ripe. Because if they're not ripe, they are not gonna nail this. And I had the knife to cut it in thirds, but that one just smashed up great. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to put a Ziploc bag move these over just a little so you can see what I'm doing and you're just putting a Ziploc bag over top and then you're stretching it pretty tight and you're putting a rubber band around it all of this is going to be thrown away you are not going to uh, reuse any of this um, because they will lay out larvae and you don't want fruit fly larvae in your house so then you need a sharp pencil and I sharpened this just moments ago before we got started and you're going to put about 10 or 15 holes. I don't count. And you don't want to push the pencil in too hard, but you definitely want the holes big enough. That is probably about 15. So, there we go. All those holes are in, and that trap is ready. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with the other two. Doesn't take any time at all. Now, while I'm setting these two up, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about fruit fly traps. Now, this rubber band's a little bigger, so I'm gonna make it snug. Um, the main thing with a fruit fly trap is you want to be sure you dispose of these things within 72 hours. It doesn't, it can go longer. But you're taking a risk of the larvae hatching out and crawling out back through the holes and then laying eggs, all, laying fruit fly eggs all over the place. So you do not want that. So, you just make it nice and snug put your holes in, set your alarm for 72 hours, and then watch the magic. And what's gonna happen your first night, and put these in wherever you're having your problem. Your first night, you're gonna wake up in the morning, you're gonna start to smell the banana. And you'll see maybe two or three flies in each trap, that's it. And you'll go, man, these things are not working. The next morning you wake up, if you've got a lot of fruit flies, your cups can even be jiggling. Um, and you'll see more like 30 in each trap, depending upon how many you have. Hopefully you don't have a teenager in your house that left a bowl of salsa in his room, and you have fruit flies so big that when they come in your house, they could haul you off.
like that's that's what we've had happen in the past so I have a video clip of that fruit fly trap we're gonna show you that okay so these are gonna set out 72 hours and it's 72 hours now these I'm setting out and I'm gonna put out because I still have a little bit of trouble we bought some peaches from the fruit stand and oh my gosh we had fruit flies the next day so um, and, and of course they were attacking my beautiful tomatoes that I just got from the garden so these are gonna get set back out because these are fresh ones but let me show you how to dispose and it's important you do this right okay I have done this wrong so I'm teaching you my secrets of how to get rid of these evil little critters so you just get a brand new bag and you don't have to use a new bag these are from the dollar store they were dirt cheap but they are airtight and you want to be sure they're airtight and you take your traps that are loaded down and this one is super duper loaded down like they're even around the edges that's why you don't want any ridges because they will crawl right out and if your holes are too big my daughter set these up for me a couple of days ago and she accidentally made a couple holes too big and you know they're too big if you see a fruit fly coming out if you can just take a little piece of tape and cover up those holes so then you have not wasted your trap you put them all in you do not want to harvest anything back like you don't want to recycle the cups you don't want to recycle the rubber bands you just want to close this up and you want to be sure that it is airtight and the way I know it's airtight is you want to just see a little bit of air still in here when you squeeze it see so it's airtight because eventually those larvae are going to come out the holes and if you know you could have like a terrible infestation and then these are going to go in your trash can just put them in the trash can that you're about to pull today and off they go and goodbye fruit fly fruit flies now the way I do it is I set I usually will do this twice I'll set it up once 72 hours later I pull them bag them tag them they're gone and then I set it up one more time so this is my one more time and you just put them wherever the darn things are at and then 72 hours you pull it after that you're done you do not have any more fruit flies in your house because they're greedy little creatures they want what's in that cup and that's where they're going so that is my foolproof fruit fly trap for free. Thanks for dropping by. Please give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Please hit subscribe. This is a new channel. I'm not new to YouTube, um, but I'm new to this channel that we just got started. So thanks for dropping in and give us some comments. Let us know how it's working out for you. All right, God bless you. Thank you for coming by.